Hello everybody, Four Star here, and we are back here with the AFL, starting off with Week One, Season One, in our new series with the Voodoo versus the Kiss here for our first inaugural matchup, our first of three matches here this week for Week One. Just want to show you guys a couple of these uh, games here. So we start out the first quarter here with Mark Greve throwing a bomb right to Swain there for the first touchdown of many today from the Voodoo. The kids beat the ball this time at the goal line, but they cannot get anywhere as they get stopped there. Going forward on fourth down here. Dolazel throws it, but it will be a turnover or a downs, and the Voodoo will get the ball back. After the turnover on downs, Greve would throw it to Swain again off the post route and get it all the way to the end zone for a 48-yard score. They got a twisting call, but they denied it, or they declined it. It was a TD. 14-9 here in the first quarter. Dolazel, pump face, looking, throws it right to Bailey for a touchdown here to try to respond to the voodoo. After the field goal, the kids get the ball back, but throws it right into Horsey's hands, and they get their first turnover. After the interception, Gree rolls off to the left looking for a screen. Tries to throw it to his man, but Robinson with a crazy tip touchdown. And they extend their lead up to 17. So the LA Kids get the ball back after the touchdown. Dozo throws it right to Horsek again for his second pick today. And then Gree for the third time today reaches Swain for another touchdown here. That's his fifth touchdown of the half. And then here in the third quarter, Grieve gets another shot at the end zone again. Throws it this time to Robinson for the second time. And that was the dagger to end this game here. The final score, 58-26 to with New Orleans with a commanding win. Here in our second matchup, we got the Toronto Phantoms taking on the Georgia Force in Toronto. So we start here in the first quarter with Joe Germain at the helm, rolling off to the right, looking for Burks, but it gets picked off by McCullough, and he will take this all the way inside to the five there, where Bob McMillan will finish off this one with a rushing touchdown, one yard gain. He puts it in the end zone for their first score. Georgia will respond back with a two yard rushing touchdown from Carter, his first today. Toronto will try to respond back with a passing play, but Hamilton get immediately crushed and it will be get picked up by Carter for the first sack fumble today. This will set up an easy screen touchdown here from Jermaine to Dudley. Easy catch into the end zone there, and they would take the lead after that. And they would pile on that lead when Jermaine scores a rushing touchdown after Toronto scores a field goal. After yet another Toronto field goal, Joe Jermaine rolling off to the right here sees Dudley all by himself in the end zone scores another bomb touchdown to take a huge lead. After yet another defensive stop by Georgia, Jermaine throws another bomb right to Savage this time, which increases their lead. And now down by 20, Joe Hamza finally responds with a dot right to Nash and he'll take it into the end zone to re reduce that lead to 14. Georgia tries to respond for a touchdown after getting down the field to the three yard line, gives it to Burks, but he fumbles the ball clearly. And that one would be picked up by Warren and Toronto and they're back into the game. So afterward, trying to take advantage of the situation, Hamilton gets hit on the throw, but throws it right to Nash and he'll score. And now they're only down by seven here. Right before the fourth quarter starts, Jermaine trying to respond, throws a bomb right to Savage, a 43-yard gain, and they would finish this one off with a rushing touchdown right to Carter, who got his second today, a two-yard touchdown there, and now they take back a 14-point lead. And then here in the fourth quarter, Hamilton fumbles the ball into the end zone and will get picked up by Richards for a touchdown, and that will end the game with the final score being 34 to 54, Georgia getting their first win of the season here in Toronto. So our, for our final game in our week one slate, we got the Dallas Desperados here against the New York Dragons. And these two teams do not have any love for each other at all. This should be an amazing game here with the quarterback, Aaron Garcia at the helm here. And we start off here in this very first quarter here. Aaron Garcia throws a bomb right to his receiver. Shepard for a quick touchdown to take the league here. And this will be a long one for the Dallas Desperados. 
And speaking of long day, Smith would try to take the return here, but he gets knocked on his butt as Reed recovers the loose ball, and it will be a touchdown for the Dragons. The Desperados get the ball back, and Andy Kelly trying to get them into the end zone, throws it to Smith, but it gets picked off by Harris. Harris, he took a hit, and it was a fumble, but Porter would pick the ball up for the end zone for a touchdown. And for the next drive, it was even more rolls as Kelly gets sacked, so they would have to settle for three. Garcia would capitalize after the three points by throwing this bomb right to McKenzie into the end zone to take an 11 point lead. Kelly and the Desperados will try to respond here after this dot right to Brian, but Brian does the heavy lifting as he breaks two tackles to get into the end zone for the touchdown for the Desperados. Meanwhile, on this next drive here by Garcia, Garcia throws a dot right to Bergeron to respond for a touchdown, and Brown hits the speakers on that one. Meanwhile, after a defensive stop, Garcia and Bergeron connect again after he got hit to get into the end zone, this time increasing their lead. Trying to respond here, Kelly connects to Smith with a great pass play there, and it will end up in a quarterback sneak touchdown here by Kelly to try to get back into this game. But it seems like Garcia and Bergeron will not let that happen today as they get their third connection today inside the red zone once again. But it seems like Bergeron will make his first mistake after a Desperados field goal. He break, he tries to break a tackle there, but Warren picks up the uh, loose ball caused by the break, broken tackle. That would cause Adam, Kelly, and Smith to connect on this beautiful post route here to try to get within seven here. Let me call my mama real quick. But once again, that Garcia to Bergeron connection is hitting today as he gets a spectacular catch to get into the end zone once again for a touchdown. But Kelly and the Desperados do not give up as he throws it right to Ivy there for his first touchdown today, still keeping it within seven. To take this one out of reach, Goins would try to the long field goal attempt and it would be good making it an eight point game. Here Andy Kelly and the Desperados here with one last drive. Andy Kelly looking deep, but he gets hit hard and it's a fumble and it gets picked up by the Dragons and that will end the game here. And the final score will be 44 to 57 with the Dragons winning here in Dallas. Checking the scores around the league here with San Jose getting a 53-34 win against Cleveland with Chad Dew scoring two touchdowns. John Kaleo and the Chicago Rush get putting in work as they get the 43-38 win against the Soul. Raymond Filia picking up four touchdowns and a win in Jacksonville against Tampa Bay. Then finally, Matt DeRazio and the Washington Valor taking care of the Colorado Crush 52-38. Also, I forgot the screenshot this one, but the Predators beat the Rattlers 66-59 in a very close game. In Arizona. Thank you guys for watching this very first episode of the Arena Football League. Wanted to get this one out quickly for the first week of Arena Football. And uh, I just want to thank you guys for subscribing and liking the videos. Um, it really helps the channel and it really uh, helps me keep going with these uh, with these videos. So uh, I'll see you guys for episode two of the Arena Football League. We should be able to do weeks uh, two, three, and four. And I'll see you guys next time for another BFL video. See you guys next time.